Hello everyone and welcome to episode 48 of the Kyoki Puro series here on the channel as the Logo to Global series in the C-verse using TW2020 as uh, what a card we actually have lined up. <laughs> we have nobody's absent, everybody's healthy. I feel like it's been a hot ass minute since that's happened. Uh, you know, we've had injury bugs, we've had people are expanding, they're, they're leaving the nest of, that is Kyoki Puro, they're trying to go on to bigger and better things, I don't blame them, <laughs> as uh, we're still, I mean, we're running 200 some people now, but it's, you know, there's bigger, better uh, promotions out there still in the Seaverse and in the Japanese pro wrestling world, uh, but we're still chugging along, <laughs> just trying our best here, as, uh, man, I can't believe we're almost at 50 episodes for the local global series, really, really fun stuff, as we got a Kyoki Puro title match, as Acid 2 is going to take on Sumac Samora. Let's see if Sumac Samora becomes the three time Kyoki Puro champion. Would be nuts. And we have a tag title matchup as Waiko or taking on Stealthy and Shadow of Dark Agents. And uh, we got Nami Ginda taking on the Edo Phoenix 4. Ken Jagabot Silly and Aztec Prince. So two pretty, really good undercard matches. Joji's going to take on somebody, not sure yet. And of course, our death match uh, is going to be the opener, Prowler, Ryoko, uh, as. Uh, that's gonna be a shit show. Hopefully we can survive that. And it's like, yeah, let's just get right into it. Obviously we got a book from the top down. Just so this is a lot easier to do as Acid 2, our champion. We'll uh, keep him on the one side as uh, some some more. We'll be on this side. We're gonna give them some time. We're gonna give them about 18 minutes. As Sumex some more will indeed become the third time champion for the Kyoki Puro. Uh, uh, the Kyoki Puro three-time champion here in uh, Kyoki Pure, obviously, as a, what a fucking savage. I think he deserves it. No interference, nothing like that. I think it's a straight-up fight, and we'll see uh, what happens there as far as the aftermath. Obviously, uh, we have the Bad Motherfuckers tournament, which, uh, you know, can as a two, or can uh, Sumex some more, rather, be the first guy to be the champion and win the Bad Motherfuckers tournament. We shall see as Waiko, the Kyoki Pure tag team champion, is going to take on, obviously, we'll take... Uh, as I will have Stealthy, there we go. Don't worry, it's not a death match. <laughs> as uh, we're gonna have the champions of Waiko retain. So again, Waiko are uh, the champions again. I feel like it's been at least a hot minute since all you know all of Waiko were champions. Besides Akikamiya, but uh, it's been a hot minute. But I think it's uh, well deserved. Obviously, they're gonna have to carry. Uh, Dark Agents to a bit of a tag match. Well, Stealthy is going to be doing most of the carrying for the Dark Agents team, so it shouldn't be too bad. Now, kind of for the undercard matchup, now or uh, the undercards, uh, the undercard matchups rather, as uh, Nami Ginda, Ida Phoenix Four, should be a banger. They've had their matches in the past. They have their history, as you see here. Oh um, my God, that they have had, you know, four years of history as uh, Ida Phoenix Four. Way back at the first Super Show Destruction, he Phoenix 4 beat uh, her. Then he uh, retained, he had a defense for his Kyoki Pure uh, title back in March, uh, March Massacre 2021. Uh, really, Either Phoenix 4 has gotten the best of uh, her as of, uh, during the early ons of uh, their, of uh, Kyoki Pure, just in their history against each other. But Namigina did beat him back at uh, June of uh, the Super Show Destruction in 2023. Which is just wild. This is, you know, that's a lot of history they've had. As of the history for Nami Ginda is not going to go in her favor again. As if the score is going to get the win right there. As uh, that's the high spots match as well. Of course, we got to have one. Sorry about that. I know this is loud as shit, I'm sure, for everybody involved. So now for the Kijaga Matsui Asik Prince match. Asik Prince just signed a contract. Is, uh, that said CMLL. I think it's. Uh, I forget what's the promotion. Uh, EMLL, that's right. That was what the CML was called at first. So that's that's why I was like, it's I thought I forget it was something like that. As uh, Aztec Prince can drink on soy. Aztec Prince gonna get the win here as a pretty decisive win for uh, Aztec Prince. As these two, pretty much they've <laughs> every time they've wrestled against each other, Aztec Prince has won. Or keeping that tradition going. Their match actually was worse. Uh, their last match was worse than uh, their, their second match. Back at uh, the Marvelous Birthday Blowout Bash show at October 2021. And so we'll have uh, Ant-Man 
as always. King Jabba Katsui is uh, still a little upset. I mean, let's have it be a wild brawl. And just, to, you know, fuck it. Let's have King Jabba Katsui get a win. Why not? Let's change it up a little bit, too. As uh, the, finally, our opener in death match. Actually, no, we're going to have a Joji match. That's right. We're going to have Joji taking on somebody. Uh, I mean, we could have Joji Hector. We could have Joji Akikamiyo. Joji Ant-Man. I think that's probably for the best. We'll have Ant-Man get the win there. As I don't think they've ever wrestled each other. Yeah, so fresh matchup, too. Well, this is actually going to push up the card a good bit. Just because I know Ant-Man's going to do his thing. Joji's going to do about a 45, uh, you know, 50, somewhere around there. Let that be a regular match. Uh, that should be a really, really solid match. I'm actually going to put that uh, right there. I feel like that's going to be... And now the death match. Oof. Death match is going to get, like, th <laughs> going to have to get very little time. We're going to have to bump that down to 10. Bump this down to 10. There we go. Deathmatch. Which is gonna be in the shits. I mean, it's gonna be terrible. Prowler. As a... Um... Well, we could have Carlos Gonzalez against Prowler. Or... Yeah. Actually, Kira Claiborne. And I, I think they had a bad motherfucker. I mean, that's right. Last year. So I figured... Give it five minutes. Carl's getting the win. That might be a little too long. Yeah, five minutes might be just a little too long. We'll make it. Ah, we can just take off some time on the uh, on this match here. Let that be sixteen, and we have that be in the death match. I did not want that. Let I actually check that, and uh, we'll take just a minute off this match. There we go. We're good to go. We're good to go now. As uh, yeah, that's everything should be fine. Let's look at the booking analysis. Yeah, it's the death match thing. We're fine though. So we might do actually. I might do a pre-show match. We got the time for it. You know, we we're in no hurry. Aki Camillo and uh, Roku there. As uh, Aki Camillo is gonna get the win. Which I feel like we don't really do a lot of pre-show matches. We're we're getting. More and more pre-show matches as we uh, get going here, but this will be huge. As uh, Marco and Prowler, as uh, we're gonna have Marco get the win, so probably our performance. It's gonna be close though. It's gonna be a lot closer than we probably think. We'll give him ten minutes. We might give the other match ten minutes too, just to let the uh, let the girls improve and let the guys improve. It's a pre-show match. We're in no big hurry. There we go. Ah, uh, if I had to predict which one's gonna... Hey, they're all... They're both gonna suck. <laughs> the, those two pre-show matches. So we're just gonna keep it as is. And uh, we'll run the show here. So yeah, 22. Margaret Gonzalez gets the win with a DDT in 9.38. Some decent reaction from the crowd, but just terrible wrestling. Yeah, makes sense. It has 215 people. Paid in attendance. How fun. There's a 31. Wow, Akikamiya. Really doing our part. Carrying uh, Ryoku to a... Pretty solid. Imagine victory roll in 10 minutes. Decent reaction from the crowd, but subpar wrestling. Now we're on to the actual main show, which is 36. Carlos Gonzalez carrying Kira Claiborne, who's really improved. I mean, there at the beginning last year when we brought her in, she did... I think she was in the single digits. Now, next, you know, next year now, full year, which is not even a full year. It's like, you know, maybe she's wrestled 10, 12 matches, and she's already back. Going to almost be in the 20s by the time Bad Motherfuckers uh, rolls around. Good for her. She got a, a 18 there. Got the show up to a strong start, too. To go Carlos Gonzalez. Says, yeah. I mean, wild well, brawl. Aztec Prince outperformed Ken Matsui, but, uh, you know, felt like, at least for the story, Ken Matsui could have used a win. So, I'm not too upset by it. I, mean, I was kind of lenient when Ken Matsui complained about it. Sometimes you just gotta complain, and I might just be like, ah, oh, might as well throw him a bone. As uh, the Blaze of Glory 12 getting the win for Ida Phoenix 4 over Nami Ginda 955 as a now we're going to actually have performed Eater Phoenix 4. So good job by her. Eater Phoenix 4 is just kind of dying down compared to what he used to do. That's is what it is. At least it was a high spots match too, so that kind of hurt him. 
is Ant-Man and Joji. What a fucking match. Is he, I figured it'd be good. I figured Joji would do like in the mid-40s. But 55 is great for him. Ant-Man getting the win. That's a huge win for Ant-Man as he beats Joji in 10-14 with the antidote. It's a really good match. Could have been the co because there's no way this tag match is going to beat it. He has a 54. Still see, though, with a 27. Shadow's almost in the 30s. <laughs> what a great fucking a four-year arc of uh, Shadow and Prowler. Shadow's almost in the 30s. Says uh, White Kill getting the win is Yuta Asano pinning Shadow with the Superstar Maker. That is the uh, first defense for White Kill here as they're now... Hopefully, maybe we'll make those tag belts mean something. <laughs> we'll uh, have to wait and see. I'm not waiting with that uh, bated breath, though. Got the Lance gimmicks getting a little stale. We'll need to change that. Got the crowd hotter for this main event. It's for the third time. Sumac Samora is your Kyoki Pure champion. Getting the win with the Shooting Star Press. Uh, I want to say, even though there's... With Kyoki Pure, you know, the weapons, they're lenient. It's not like a disqualification or anything. But he, you know, whacks acid to the chair. Climbs a ladder. Shooting Star Press that's set up... Outside the ring, so you know, as the two's inside the ring, shooting star press from outside the inside, off the ladder, gets the win in 1626. What a fucking awesome match! That's definitely the best match we've ever had with a 70. As the two actually have performed so much tomorrow, which I feel bad, but uh, I mean, it's a hell of a match. Hell of a fucking match. I'm very proud of those two men. That's a hell of a main event. So we increased our pop <laughs> by one, but man, if we, when we get this roster, you know, a little bit beefed up. And we get, uh, you know, we start running, our, we change our schedule up a little bit. Oh, we're going to be a problem. We're going to be a problem for sure in the C-verse. As a, yeah, I mean, we got to give love to our main event. Because that was crazy and stealthy for doing a tremendous job in his match. With the co-main dragging it to at least a 54. And yeah, awesome stuff there. As thank you all for watching. As now we're about to go into the next uh, show. You know, the Bat Motherfuckers Tournament will be the end of year four, just like that. And then going into year five will be a change of schedule. We're going to add some new events. We're going to take away some events. We're going to just kind of, you know, spice it up. I think that we need to spice it up. It's been a, uh, as you see, Spider Isako, well, there was a chance we could have uh, signed her away back to, uh, but she was getting a lot of exclusive, you know, she's exclusive contract, making 7000 a month. Good for her. Uh, what a Kyoki Puro pupil. It's on the... Bigger and better things. Happy for. Awesome to see. So now, uh, you know, on to the bad motherfuckers, as I just said. Thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time for the tournament. Take care, everyone.